I guess we're just gonna have to eat all the sweets and the cakes now, guys. There's more for everyone. all these wonderful people. Pretty much the story of my career is I'm the one at the party who's milling around, everyone's like, oh, they're fancy, they're fancy. And love, how did you get here? It's like, the door was open and I stumbled in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I made, made myself here too. I think um, Karen said that two years ago when Serenity Press came here to Ireland, I was dying to come because Ireland's been a dream. It's where I've always wanted to come. It's been been a, a bucket list list goal. So when the opportunity came around again to be here this year, I said, yes, sign me up. And I think I was the very first name on the list. And I thought, yes, I'm going to Ireland. I was doing the embarrassing happy dance with my kids. And then I stopped and went, ah, oh, I suppose I should actually start writing something now, hey. So I set about going, well, I've had this story sitting with me for quite a number of years, um, set in Ireland. And for someone who's never been here, it was, I thought, what am I doing? Um, so. I started trying to write. Now, I'm more than known as an illustrator. Art is, is my first passion, it's, it's what I do. Um, I've got a piece here that I'll hand around. This is, I brought my daughter with me um, to, to just help me figure out here. All that. So I'll give that to Karen and pass around. So creating fantasy drawings was probably more what I did. So when it came to wanting to write a fantasy story, which I desperately wanted to do, it had been my, ever since I was young, reading fantasy stories to more appears Tolkien, um, Harry Potter, all of those were just, they're, they're still my classics, they're still top row on the bookshelf. So I wanted to write that. Now when it came down to sit and write the words, I had the image clear as day in my head. I knew exactly how it looked, I could see it, I couldn't describe it. I was trying to write the words, no, that hasn't captured, that hasn't captured, that, no, no, no. I thought, okay, I might have to call Karen and say, no, I can't come, I'm not a writer, I'm, I'm, I do not. So I thought, well, if drawing's what I do, drawing is what I will do. So instead of trying to map out my story in words and plan my, I'm not a planner, I'm a fly by the city of pants kind of person. So when it came to, <laughs> hence I'm doing this today, I, I tried to plan it out step by step and it just was not how I did it. So I decided instead, going almost comic book style, I will draw my characters one by one, I'll, I'll fill up my time drawing them exactly how I see them. And within, a week or so, I had my sketchbook full of characters. I had the visual. And suddenly I found myself going, I know how to write this now. Like, you know how there's language translators, you know, Japanese, Chinese, translating to English and so on. I feel like what I do is translating pictures into words. So the only way I could get to write my story was to draw it first. And so I, I bought my sketchbooks and everything with me today and wandering around the grounds and everything has just been, I think I've taken a photo of every mossy leaf, every little thing, because every detail I can get that I can then translate is what's going to build my story. Um, so I reached a point in my story based on Ireland and, and set in the modern world, travelling to the other world and, and tying that all together and how magic can exist in this world even though, you, you know, perhaps if we're not even living in the most magical of times, getting that... that cross link between the two, um, I hit a real a, a standstill, probably two months ago. I, I came to a complete stop in my story. I'm 40,000 words in and I'm aiming for 90, and it just stopped. And no matter what I did, no matter what I drew, I couldn't get past that. So being here this week has been the people I've met and the things that I've been able to wander around and see has been the most inspiring and the thing I, I could, it's what I needed. It's what I needed to do. and. Being able to be up here and speaking to everyone else, I suppose, what I'm bringing to today's discussion is that however works for you, whatever you need to do to inspire that creativity is what you need to do. So for me, I draw and I love to write, but drawing needs to happen first for me. That's that's what I do. That's my language. So um, if anyone's out there and you're sort of wondering perhaps how do I get inspired, I'm going to do it like this person. I'm going to shop point, I'm going to do a JK Rowling, I'm going to write it all on a napkin in a cafe. If that's not for you, that's okay. And that's been my biggest takeaway from this week is it's okay to do things my way. Um, so I am here today, I've got a collection of my artwork out on my table, I've got a folder for the drawings and things that I do. Um, I still love illustrating and I have had the pleasure of illustrating for a couple of 
um, children's books authors in Australia, um, in a small, it's not quite my comfort zone, but I'm also a big believer in if an opportunity comes, say yes, and figure it out later. Um, so, I don't know where Karen's got to, but I'm sort of reaching the end of my time, and before I, yeah, she's got to stop me dancing, come Karen, stop, stop it. <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so I thank you all for listening to me, and I hope you'll come and have a look at some of my my work at the back there today too. Thank you. She's so talented. I love her greens. Just call me, and it's just beautiful. <laughs>